First thing. Right, it is 25 past eight. Joe's just setting up. We're here a little bit earlier. We actually got, what time did we get here? We got here at like half seven. I got here at half seven, yeah. Early bird catches the worm and all that. First things first, I wanted to go through one of the most asked questions I probably get for uh, beginners in sports cards. And that is, how do I determine the value of my card? Or how much is my card worth? The number one way to look, in my opinion, the free way to look, is go on a website called 130point.com. So I'm gonna comp a card with you now. I have this uh, Tom Kearney Color Blast. Now me being a Fulham fan, I would value this at probably three grand. But, that's, <laughs> Joe's laughing, that's not, that's not the real value of the card, unfortunately. As much as I think Tom Kearney is probably, arguably, one of the greatest midfielders of our generation, other people don't, and that's okay. I should have prepared my phone for this, really. Now I'm rummaging around in my bag. Just turn my phone on here. While I do that, are you looking forward to the day, Joe? Yeah, big time. Uh, should be fun. We're at prime, prime location here, aren't we? We actually are. I'll show you where we are. You can see that's the, the main entrance. So big shout out to... Um, Big shout out to Harry for putting us in this spot. Um, also want to thank our sponsors as well, which is the London Car Show. Also Harry. Also Harry. So thank you very much, Harry, and the team for sponsoring the video. Very, very much appreciated. Always doing great things. Favorite show to go to. It's my first show I ever went to. Same. There you go. So I'm loading up 130 point now. Website looks a bit like this. And in here, we're just going to go into the search bar and we're going to type in Kearney. I haven't got to do his full name. Color. And if you're typing in Color Blast, do remember, this is Panini America. So we're spelling it like C-O-L-O-R. Nice little tip for you there. It's not how we spell it in the UK, but the card wasn't made in the UK. So you can see where I've typed it in, we can see the last raw sold was 65 Canadian. So normally Canadian is about, Canadian's double, isn't it? Yeah, roughly. Roughly about double US dollar? I don't know about US dollar, but against the pound it's roughly. It's roughly, yeah, roughly double against the pound. So you're probably looking at 65, 32 pound 50. We also have a PSA 10 did uh, 120 Australian dollars, which actually, funnily enough, that's about the same as Canadian, isn't it, in comparison to the... So, yeah. so again, it's double. So about 60 pounds for a PSA 10. We also have a 44 USD for the raw version, which is, again, probably about maybe like 38 quid, something like that. So that's given us an idea of how much this card is worth. So if I was to now put this in my case, we can see... We have that 38 comp. We also had that 65 Canadian, so we said that that was roughly about 32 pound 50. We could give an estimated value of about 30 pounds, I think, for this Tom Kenny Color Blast. About right, given the uh, pay areas. Yeah, so probably what I do is I put it in my case, 30 pounds. If I really wanted to sell it, I might put it in my case at 25 pounds, but realistically, it would go in my case at 30 pounds. And then if someone said, Dan, would you take 25 pounds for your color blast I'd probably cry and say yes but I'm a Fulham fan so this isn't getting sold this is PC but that's just to show you an idea of how it works me and Joe are kind of co co presenting today we're getting lots of content for both our channels so shout out Joe do you want to plug your socials it's JJJ cards on Insta yeah I had a small little rebrand a lot of people still think I'm called JJMS that's actually my business page now and then JJJ cards is my personal page that's where my YouTube is and uh, Instagram and things like that. Um, I'll also be doing a video as well, which we'll probably share together, won't we? Yeah, I'll put a link in the description. Yeah. I, I, I think that was a little dig at me because I keep calling Joe, 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 JMS. <laughs> and I'm the only one that calls him Joe, Joe, JMS. And I keep having to correct myself. I correct myself in countless videos as well. I've gone, I think it's JJJ card. Or I've, or, do you know what I've said recently? Joe, 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 JMS, also known as <laughs> yeah. JJJ cards. But My that's. Brand is just so strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You just doubled up the brand. You, the, the first brand was so good. Yeah. You just thought, I'll, I'll get another one. Yeah, exactly. With the DJ, in the words of DJ Khaled, 
another one. JJJ Cars, it's so good they named it three times. <laughs> there we are. Um, we, and we're going to do a pack battle today at some point as well, so that'd be good. Yeah, definitely. Very excited for that. 1-0 to me, based on the last show. Pretty limited. It is 1 0 to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a Sun Cow has not done anything <laughs> in the world of football since our last. Uh, I, I, would be, I doubt he's a real player, to be honest. No. So I just met Cow, shout out to Cow. He's blessed me with some card hobby pickups. I am now on card hobby, so I have actually bought a, uh, a Pink Wave Ivan Cavallero um, card for, I think, $1. But I think I need to buy a few more cards on card hobby to make it worth the, uh, the shipment to, uh, to the UK from China. Because uh, having a $1 card shipped from China is probably not the best idea. So it's probably a good idea that I build up some cards first. But he has been doing some uh, some... I was about to say eBaying, but some card hobbying, if that's the term. Um, and I have. Let's go through these one by one. Niskin's Cabano. And what I'll do is I'm going to hate myself for editing this, but I'm actually going to video, on top of this video, I'm going to video me putting these in the binders to show you. This is the final blue cracked ice I need to complete the set. Um, and I also have these two white sparkles. So these came out of the special Panini pack. So these are quite fairly hard to find but I found quite a few of them already they're numbered to roughly about 20 although they're not numbered uh, supposedly there's about 20 to 20 20 to 30 of them in existence per player I'm, I've heard if you know any different by all means educate me let me know but um, yeah always trying to pick up 2020 prism Fulham parallels uh, for my binder and uh, yeah even if I don't sell anything the vibes are great I've got cards that I need for my binder. People are coming to me with some stuff. So, excellent. Immaculate. London Card Show is always the best. Great vibes. We love it. I know when you're ready. Well, I'm here with Callum. We're doing a deal for the Eusebio. This is an absolute beauty of a sticker. In the Benfica kit. Panini Calciatore. Done the deal on PayPal. Thank you very much. Thank you. Also, I did actually pick up this. I'll just mention this. SGC, see you mate, thank you. SGC1, graded this myself. Obviously it wouldn't have graded well, but it's a cool card to have. It's the original Batman card, 1966 AMBC. Get away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Right, so we've actually made a couple of sales, which is quite nice. We did a, hang on, I just swallowed my chewing gum. Did this in the last video as well. I sold a McGregor, <coughs> sold a McGregor, top scrum, PSA 10 base, uh, I think it's 2018, which is second or third year uh, top scrum card in population of his. Um, and I sold that and a Tom Brady PSA 8 refractor uh, for 60 quid, it was, I think, Sticker price was about 80. I think I sold it for 60. Happy with that. 30 quid each. Someone did actually walk up to me. A guy called Dan. Thank you, Dan. Or Daniel. In short. Um, walked up to me with two Keens. It felt like a sign. My name's Daniel. My name's also Keen. His name was Daniel. He had the Keens. I was Keen. There you go. Um, Wordplay. PSA 10s. Manchester United. Red. This is a six set as well. Both numbered to 325. Um, you've kind of got the color, color match parallel and both of these are actually pop one as well so you might not have seen anything from me in a while in terms of my Roy Keane PC some of you may not even know I collect Roy Keane as part of a PC um, but I do love Roy Keane I was actually put in a Roy Keane shirt when I was younger my dad's a United fan um, but uh, I'm not a United fan anymore I'm a Fulham fan I did switch teams but I'm allowed because they're more local and I've never been to a Man United match in my life but I do have a soft spot for Keane um, in addition to that, I'll take you over to this chair over here. Um, there's a new TCG that uh, I'm going to shout Joe out because Joe found, and it's called Life. First edition. Oh, uh, this is first edition as well. Yeah. 
it's gonna add some extra value so this is the um this is the like what would you call this in pokemon terms a, a booster box yeah is that what's called yeah. the, like a blaster blaster, bo a blaster box. box or whatever it is in ho uh, hobby terms they also had a hobby box the hobby box is about 90 quid and the one of one they're all numbered the one of one is obviously earth because there's only one in the world and then you get it'll tell you here so it says first edition down at the bottom it'll say uncommon and then the population is what it's numbered to so this te this this card is technically numbered to 6500 um the earth is a one of one and what i'll do is i'll, I'll put up on screen some of the other stuff like a b-roll of some of the other stuff they had a, a chinese tiger on there that was numbered to just eight which is a lucky number in china um a special looking whale loads and loads of cool stuff so yeah an interesting tcg and if you want to see me open this um i'll be opening this up specifically for the members which is uh 1.99 a month cancel at any time thanks very much